Hi guys, just gone midnight, Merry Christmas, um, in the van and it's saying 39 degrees outside and 60 degrees inside, so not bad, a bit of a breeze coming in my, well a bit of a draft coming in the back, of the back window, I've got no insulation on that, so another little job I need to sort out. Anyway, just a quick check in. Check in again in the morning. Uh, guys, uh, just sat in a car park at the uh, Western Heights in Dover. Um, ferry's just coming into Dover Port. And just start to see, perhaps not in this shot, but out the front windscreen, uh, France in the distance. As the sun lowers in the sky, it will be, become more visible. And the sun sets in about an hour and a half. So I uh, just want to do some work on my van, so I've parked up found out the other day the reason for my um, draft literally was a draft <coughs> excuse me I uh, had failed to shut the tailgate at the back of the van properly and uh, hence the wind was actually uh, coming straight through I did think it was colder than normal but then the forecast was colder than normal so uh, yeah probably why I've got a little bit of a cough and a cold but uh, um, that was just the, uh, the one night mistake, uh, you live and learn. Alright, I'm going to do some tidying on the van and uh, continue in a little while. Unfortunately, there was no good views of uh, France. Um, it got a little bit misty just before the sunset, so I've come down to the harbour. Um, up on the hill there is Dover Castle. It dates back to about 12th century. The church. The other end is um, Saxon Church from about 6th century and between the two is uh, Pharos, the Roman lighthouse which is uh, I believe dates from the 1st century. The hotel in front is Regency so 170 odd years old it's uh, fairly modern I suppose. Well it's getting dark now so that kind of concludes the plan for today um, I've uh, bought a couple of these Stanley uh, organizer boxes well I actually bought one to start with in Argos that's all they had left uh, it was $7.99 went up to B&Q for something else and uh, they were doing two for £10 so I'm gonna take one of these back to Argos because I only need two and uh, really handy for keeping all the little bits that find I have in the van like in there you can see uh, to the side there's a spare dimmer switch and some various other types of switches in there double sided tape that's the uh, no more nails type lots of these type clips uh, come in very handy in various sizes all sorts of fuses under here blade fuses and uh, mini fuses all different amperages and uh, some machine screws down there few little items of tools that are not kept in my tool roll under my seat so I don't have a large toolbox anymore there's just no room for that various things like suckers and stuff and there's velcro under there and inline fuses and some cable crimps um, I've got some super glue on there as well um, I've got a few other little bits and bobs to uh, to add in um, 
but it's nice to have them all in one one box which uh, I could just store in above the, uh, the driver and I'll have another one above the passengers but I'll, uh, seat but I'll keep other stuff in there anyway so I'm gonna conclude here um, almost the new year lots of bits and bobs from this uh, for this last video um, I shall make a quick trip to Argus to take one of these back and um, then I'm gonna hit the gym which is right there the weights room in Dover which is uh, massive and uh, I don't really do any weights I just do the cardio stuff so anyway until the new year cheers guys <laughs>